Welcome back, everybody. I'm here again on the Unorthoblox server. So last episode, we did the little panda enclosure. So you get them a place to live. So I'm just heading back that direction. We're over here at, uh, I guess, the main area where I'll you know, have all the cow farm or cow housing, the housing for the cows and the wheat farms and stuff. If we go down this way, I haven't figured out what to do in this area here. This may just end up being wildlife preserve. But since we got the uh, the place for the cows, or well, I even got a little place for the pigs, and I've got the pandas now, I think chickens need a need to get the love. The love needs to go to the chickens to give them a place to live. So I was looking around. I think I found a great spot for them to go. So we'll head through the tunnel here. And once you get out of the tunnel, we have this small little rise. And I think this is where I am going to uh, stash my chickens. Hello, piggy, piggy, piggy. You need to go back to your home. You're you're way over. You're way out of your league. Oh, and speaking of residents, look, a new resident. I am going to build you a house. Don't worry, chicky. Don't worry, poor little chicken. I'm going to build you some housing so you can uh, you don't have to live out in the wild. So I have this spot right here on top of the hill and I think I'm going to clear out either side. So we've got this area over here, it kind of dips into a valley. So I'll clear that out and then I'll clear this area out over here. And then I am going to replace it with chicken housing. So individual housing for all the little chickens. And then I'll gather them up from around the island and uh, they will live happily ever after in their little house. So I think the best way to do that is just start clearing things out. And of course, that's going to be a time lapse. So enjoy, and I will catch you on the opposite side, give you a nice detailed tour of what we're doing.
Well, that was fun. Got my chickens all housed in this nice little area up here. So let's go take a tour. I've called this uh, Chicken Itza. Chicken Itza. Because I thought it sounded good because it has the word chicken in it. I kind of went really bricky. Oh, oh my. What happened? I didn't realize they'd break that easy. Oh. Like I said, I'm, I'm going really bricky with here with these mud bricks and uh, just normal bricks. And I think it kind of gives it a nice organic feel. And I do love the way these cherry trees you know, leave those little, drop those little leaves. I mean, the only thing I uh, wish they would do is when it fell and landed on a grass block, it would put the little uh, flowers down there. But I've gone through, I added in a bunch of little houses for everybody, and inside I've got my chickens. Lucy is living in here. Got a little bit of food in here, a little roost to sit on, place to store her eggs or whatever. Looks like an egg in there. And the, uh, I like the way the bamboo kind of works with that mud. It's not too yellow. But it's not like oak. I think oak would blend in more. That kind of stands out. It kind of almost looks like a, uh, like it's made out of wool or not wool, uh, wheat, like wheat blocks or something. I made little huts with wheat block roofs, which is a little more difficult because all you got is big squares. But these have half slabs and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just take a tour and look at all everybody. We have little chicken, chicken little here. I don't remember who is this. This is oh Katie, Katie the chicken. And the names are just the names, because you know they were just born with those names. So don't blame me if you don't like the names. Mark. Mark has a nice little house here. And we have uh, who's this? Oh Samantha. Let's just pick that up get back in there it's very uh, flowery through here and I just push this down just kind of terrace it out you have a, like a little park area here you have a nice little area here and these are the flowers I was saying that the uh, the cherry trees should uh, grow those I think that you can grow them in the natural biome where the cherry trees grow but I think if you plant a cherry tree it's got these little leaves falling down. There should be a chance when it hits the ground like that to uh, produce you know, one of these. At least that's what I think. Because I think that'd be cool. So the world would dynamically grow as uh, you leave your plants there. Kind of like little piles of leaves on the ground. So each of these I just put in the, uh, the nice uh, baked terracotta. Where's that? The polish? I can't remember what that's called. It's that terracotta that you stick in the oven and uh, make it all shiny and colorful. And then we have this nice little lookout here. You just take a look over and see the waterway. So that way is north over towards the iron farm and stuff. And then you would just, and I guess that would be south if that other way was north. So let's head on over to the other side. And they're all pretty simple. The houses are about all the same. Pretty straightforward, circular design, kind of like little huts. And I did wall everything in with the brick walls. But they're all about, you know, they're really similar. Just got the terracotta, gla glaze, that's it. The glazed terracotta on the flooring. Sometimes I mix in a little other, you know, other blocks if I got bored. And I just furnished it. Uh, chickens don't need much. 
I mean, they just need uh, some food to eat and a place to sleep, and that's about it. Oh, I didn't put a roost in here for anybody on this one. Uh-oh. Maybe. If I do that. There's a roost. Now you have a roost. You don't have to hide into the composter anymore. So I just carried on the houses. Oh, I've got... We have a few adults running around who aren't where they're supposed to be. And then down here, I kind of made an artificial lake with the little waterfall. So you have the, some lakeside houses for the chickens. This one's kind of nice, big porch. But you go inside and it's got a dinky little house. So it's kind of a compromise. Yeah. Either outdoor space for barbecuing or indoor space for living. And then just a few more through here. Well, that one's pretty colorful. I kind of took uh, some blocks I had left, and that's what you end up with. Like I said, when I got to the end, I started out with solid colors, and I tried to mix them all up because they, they were getting repetitive. So now you can see me uh, just sort of experimenting with different types of uh, blocks just to see, uh, just to see what happens. And I can't say they're all successful. Although sometimes these terracottas are a pain to work with because they don't really, they only fit like together one way. So you get like one set of four designs that all go together. And then trying to mix the designs from other blocks, like they don't, you know, the multiple types of terracotta don't really match up with anything. So you're kind of stuck with one color of terracotta and the designs just don't match up between all the different colors. So you don't have a, can't really make a cohesive, uh, you know, flooring out of it. What do they call that? Mosaic. Can't make a mosaic out of it because they just won't match together. But anywho, this is my chicken house. So now I've got a, my cow barn is all set. My chickens are all set. I may have to expand the pig pen. I found a bunch of pigs. And then if we had this way, this would be going towards the south. So if I've been running back and forth from north to south, north to south, doing all the, you know, setting up the chicken houses, you know, trading with my villagers down here, I've realized that it's a long way from the south of the island all the way up to the north. And running it is becoming very tedious. So what I want to do is create a tunnel. I'm going to do a rail tunnel all the way from the south to the north and back. So really we'll have three stations. One will be the south station. We'll have the chicken station over here. And then we'll have one in the north over by the iron farm. So I think what I'm going to do is start digging a tunnel from this end up to the north. And then we'll start putting in our stations and our rail.
There was a quick time lapse there. Did a little tunnel digging and added in a couple stations. So I think I'm going to run you through to all the stations. Kind of give you a quick tour of the rail station and we'll be on our way for today. So we're going to head over to our first station. This would be the south station, I believe. South train station right there. And I'm still mixing up different types of materials, just trying to see, you know, what goes together, what doesn't go together. So we got the, you know, it's using some tuft for foundation. I think that kind of works. I'm not sure about this. This almost needs to come out one so it's even. Or this needs to go in one so it's not even. Hmm. wonder what that would look like if I... Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe if I did... If I did that... So it kind of gives it a two-dimensional look. Which means I could do like something like that. Like I said, I, this is a kind of a experimental type thing. Because I've never tried to mix this, what, calcite? And that must be deep slate, and it looks like birch and spruce. You know, all that together with the tuft and the bricks. But it kind of fits in. I got this crazy, crazy thing over here. It's like a mishmash of, you know, different types of blocks. So this one actually kind of works. So. Very modest in here. Not much to it. And oh no, oh no, I must have left my rail, I must have walked down here. And I forgot to bring my rail back. So let me go get a mine cart and then we can take a, a quick trip down the tunnel. Okay, I made a mine cart so we should be good. This will be quite noisy so I will, uh, I'll definitely tone down the rail noise in post so you can actually... Uh, hear me talking but we I sort of just shot all the way down this tunnel ties into the underground tunnels I have going down to the amethyst mine and stuff ran to this huge underground cave here had to cross and I just stuck uh, you know the polished andesite down on either side so nothing will spawn here more deep slate they used for diorite you can tell we are way down here. Oh, okay, you're gonna go back, back there, because that's where my rail is. So we got this tiny little way station here. Really, it's just two mine carts. One goes south, one goes north. And if we come out, we are over here by Chicken Itza. So we've got the chicken housing development up there. And we got our tunnel going that way. So it's just sort of a halfway mark. Because that's the only thing, you know, really, you know, you would need to stop at here. And this one's shooting all the way down. And it's just the same design. Like I was saying, we got the deep slate on the sides. We've got the diorite here. I've got a little bit of lag going on. You know, brick walls. All my... Uh, Copper, I had tons and tons and tons of copper. So I just decided to use that to go across the top. Eventually it will turn green if I hang around long enough. A lot of it's still turning, uh, you know, staying coppery because I don't actually hang out in those chunks very often. It's very uh, straightforward, simple design, but I didn't want anything spawning in here. So I thought these half slabs work well. Plus, I can hide lighting. I've got, you know, if I got these walls up here, I can hide lighting behind the walls and not have to worry about, you know, no visible lighting, which I, I always kind of like that. And this is going to shoot up right underneath into what is probably the craziest looking building. So this is my patchwork building. 
because I basically patched all the different block. I had all these different partial stacks of blocks of different colors, different types, different sizes. Well, I guess different sizes, but different colors, different types. You know, and I just decided I'm just going to put, was that lightning? I thought I saw a lightning. I don't hear anything. Anyhow, I was, I just sort of patched everything together to make one crazy looking building. So it's kind of completely out of style with anything around here. Because it should be more of this southwestern adobe looking thing. Because that's how most of these buildings are around here. But I figure uh, I had a whole bunch of blocks. I'm going to use them. Plus it's just trying to get things wrapped up around here. So I think that... <laughs> I don't know how this came out. This is just, I admit, this is just crazy. But it works. It's a station. So I do get my rail station from north to south. And that saves me a lot of time just uh, holding on to the W key and uh, hoping I don't run off the, you know, the road. Because really, it's just a long trek. You know, you saw that from, you know, just riding the rail, it's a long ways up here, so... But I think uh, that is going to be all I'm going to do today. I've got a little bit done here, a little bit done there. I don't know what else um, I'm going to be doing. I will be uh, maybe touching up over here. Or I need to, uh, I do need to put some docks on that side over by whatever that is. Um, but I'm going to stay, uh, call it a day. So I'm going to let you guys all get on to your, uh, get on with your day to do whatever you, uh, whatever you normally do besides watching a video. Um, if you're interested to see what else is happening on the server, because there is still stuff going on here and there and everywhere. Well, I do need to finish this too. Um, I put links to everybody's channels from everybody uh, who's a member of the North Block server. Uh, their links are in the description of this video. So if you want to go down there, click on those links, take a look, see uh, see what everyone else is doing. That would be uh, great. But until next time, I'm going to wish you all a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.